police are still on the scene in North Park where a gunfight at a pot shop turned deadly. Good evening. I'm Steve Atkinson. And I'm Kimberly Hunt. This happened right by 30th in University. 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina is at the scene. Steve, neighbors say that they're worried this violence is just the beginning. Kim, that medical uh, marijuana uh, shop that's going to open soon was held up today, and it's not even at the point where they're ready to open their doors for business. Of course, uh, people say there have been some other medical uh, dispensaries here before, and uh, if that were the case, what's going to happen in the future? Shots rang out, and people ran for cover, including next door at Le Wax Boutique. Kogo's Cliff Albert spoke to the owner, Jody Russo. I heard um, three, three gunshots, Just pop, pop, pop. You must have been frightened. I was shaking pretty good. Yeah, running around with one, my sandwich in one hand, trying to block all the doors and gather all the clients together. It was pretty surreal. One robber was shot to death while a store security guard was wounded and rushed to Scripps Mercy Hospital for surgery for a bullet wound to the abdomen. The other robber ran off, almost getting struck by a passing pickup truck. You know, they got the truck taped off just so they can make sure that there's no fingerprints of the assailant on the truck. You know, if there is, then that's good. You know, we're close to the catch of the dude. It wasn't known if that man might have been wounded in the shootout. The other suspect, uh, we have no knowledge. Uh, people have seen him running from the area. There's no indication that the second suspect was wounded. No blood trail? And no blood trail, no. Checking to see if the getaway car then sideswiped a wall in a nearby alley. The fireworks drawing a crowd and commentary about what next. To see that we have a dispensary of marijuana in my neighborhood is asking for trouble. A local business owner said he's seen dispensaries in the neighborhood before and also some shady characters as a result. Well, sometimes it seems to bring a little bit of undesirables. I'm not saying that all of them are, but I have noticed at times that element around. So the investigation continues here, but also around the area because there is still that one suspect still at large. We will stay on top of this and have any details that uh, might be breaking on 10 News at 11. Live in North Park, Steve Fiorina, 10 News. 10 News did some digging and found at least three pot shop robberies in the past few months. Just yesterday, dozens lined up at City Hall to try to score a limited number of conditional use permits to better regulate the shops. New zoning regulations will allow up to four medical marijuana collectives in eight of nine city council districts. New at 7 on North Park.